It's fantastic to be here to celebrate the opening of the Mount Pollen Mine. Uh, this is what Western Australia is all about and today's opening is a vote of confidence in WA and the WA resources industry. Now for those that are new to our operation today, let me just provide a really quick summary. The ore body here is a large high quality hard rock deposit with reserves that will support around 50 years of mine life at the current production rates, which currently is due to produce around 380,000 tonnes of spodumene concentrate per annum. And that concentrate will then be transported to Quinana and refined into 50,000 tonnes of battery grade lithium hydroxide a year. And that is one of Covalent's key points of difference, a fully integrated mine concentrator and refinery right here in Western Australia, a location that is renowned for being a reliable and stable producer. The combination of West Farmers' chemical engineering heritage, our capabilities developing large-scale projects in Western Australia combined with SQM's very deep technical understanding and experience in the lithium market is a really unique and powerful combination. So we're very proud to be in partnership with SQM. Of course, West Farmer is, is a great partner and we're more than happy to be here. There's no way to compete in the lithium industry if you don't have the best environmental and community standards. And we are gonna have the best standards here. Mount Holland, is a very special part of the world and we're incredibly proud of what we've achieved. As it marks the start of production for what will ultimately be one of only three lithium refineries in Australia and the only fully integrated mine concentrator and refining operation. We are also incredibly proud of our growing partnership with the Mullen Neutral Lee people. To that end, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Mr. Brian Champion Sr. and Mr. Mark Champion, who will now welcome us to country. Gabranda, Kurunba, Nga Birinj, Wamo, Muralba, Yini Mark Champion, welcome. <laughs> Thank you.